went to study glass casting in Czech Republic. I went to visit the shrine in Prague. I, I, I was always a devotee of Santo Nino. And I saw the museum where they house all the different um, clothing that they put on the Santo Nino every time that there's a different occasion. And it was like very colorful. So I said to myself, maybe in the future, I don't know when, but maybe in the future, uh, I can make also Santo Nino in glass. This is the first time I'm doing an exhibit of uh, all religious uh, icons. And this time, I'm coming up with um, different textures. The presentation of the glass, I'm coming up with matte. It's really hard because it has a lot of small parts. But then every time I come up with a new Santo Nino design, parang I'm very happy. Parang uh, na, na fulfill ko yung pangako ko na pa, pagdating ng araw, ay, magkakaroon din, makakagawa din ako ng Santo Nino. Before I just uh, confined myself to what I learned in school because this is what they taught us so I, I, I learned to experiment I also don't want to get stuck in the same old uh, style that I have I think it's my obligation to bring out the beauty of the glass in how I work on it how I do my technique on it 